First of them saith unto the last of them, Ye were no whit better than us, so taste the doom for what ye used to earn. On the day when their faces are turned over in the fire, they say, Oh, would that we had obeyed Allah and had obeyed his messenger. And they say, Our Lord, lo, we obeyed our princes and great men, and they misled us from the way. Our Lord, oh, give them double torment and curse them with a mighty curse. And those who disbelieve will say, Our Lord, show us those who beguiled us of the jinn and humankind. We will place them underneath our feet, that they may be among the nethermost. And as for those who believe and do good works, we shall make them enter gardens underneath which rivers flow, to dwell therein forever. There for them are pure companions, and we shall make them enter plenteous shade. Reclining therein upon couches, they will find there neither heat of a sun nor bitter cold. Gardens of Eden, they enter them wearing armlets of gold and pearls, and their raiment therein is silk. And they say, Praise be to Allah, who hath put grief away from us. Lo, our Lord is forgiving, bountiful, who of his grace hath installed us in the mansion of eternity, where toil toucheth us not nor can weariness affect us. Lo, those who ward off evil are among gardens and water springs. And it is said unto them, Enter them in peace, secure. And we remove whatever rancor may be in their breasts. As brethren, face to face, they rest on couches raised. Toil cometh not unto them there, nor will they be expelled from thence. And those who believed and did good works are made to enter gardens underneath which rivers flow, therein abiding by permission of their Lord, their greeting therein, peace. Lo, the righteous verily are in delight, on couches gazing, Thou wilt know in their faces the radiance of delight. And they who believe and whose seed follow them in faith, we cause their seed to join them there, and we deprive them of naught of their life's work. Every man is a pledge for that which he hath earned. And there go round, waiting on them, men servants of their own, as they were hidden pearls. Whoso obeyeth Allah and the Messenger, they are with those unto whom Allah hath shown favor, of the prophets and the saints and the martyrs and the righteous. The best of company are they. Such is the bounty of Allah, and Allah sufficeth as Noah. And with them are those of modest gaze with lovely eyes, pure as they were hidden eggs of the ostrich. Therein are those of modest gaze, whom neither man nor jinni will have touched before them. In beauty like the jacinth and the coral stone. Lo, we have created them a new creation, and made them virgins, lovers, friends, for those on the right hand.
Fair ones, close guarded in pavilions, whom neither man nor jinni will have touched before them. Reclining on green cushions and fair carpets, And there are fair ones with wide, lovely eyes, like unto hidden pearls, reward for what they used to do. There hear they no vain speaking nor recrimination, naught but the saying, Peace, and again, Peace. Lo, those who kept their duty will be in a place secure, Amid gardens and water springs, attired in silk and silk embroidery facing one another, even so it will be, and we shall wed them unto fair ones with wide, lovely eyes. They call therein for every fruit in safety. They taste not death therein, save the first death, and he hath saved them from the doom of hell. A bounty from thy Lord. That is the supreme triumph. Lo, those who merit paradise this day are happily employed. They and their wives in pleasant shade on thrones reclining. Theirs the fruit of their good deeds and theirs all that they ask. The word from a merciful Lord for them is peace. Their prayer therein will be, Glory be to Thee, O Allah. And their greeting therein will be, Peace. And the conclusion of their prayer will be, Praise be to Allah, Lord of the Worlds. Lo, as for those who believe and do good works, for them is a reward enduring. Announce, O Muhammad, unto my slaves, that verily I am the forgiving, the merciful, and that my doom is the dolorous doom. and drive the guilty unto hell, a weary herd. In scorching wind and scalding water, and shadow of black smoke, neither cool nor refreshing. Lo, we have prepared for disbelievers manacles and carcans and a raging fire. And when they are flung into a narrow place thereof, chained together, they pray for destruction there. Pray not that day for one destruction, but pray for many destructions. Fire will be an awning over them. Ah, what will convey unto thee what the consuming one is? It is the fire of Allah. Kindled, which leapeth up over the hearts of men. Lo, it is closed in on them in outstretched columns. Lo, those who disbelieve our revelations, we shall expose them to the fire. As often as their skins are consumed, we shall exchange them for fresh skins, that they may taste the torment. Lo, Allah is ever mighty, wise. But as for those who disbelieve, garments of fire will be cut out for them. Boiling fluid will be poured down on their heads. Whereby that which is in their bellies and their skins too will be melted. 
and for them are hooked rods of iron. Whenever in their anguish they would go forth from thence, they are driven back therein, and it is said unto them, Taste the doom of burning. Theirs will be a bed of hell, and over them coverings of hell. Thus do we requite wrongdoers 